Greetings, humans! Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. Uh, and and cats and dogs, right? What I say, humans? Sorry. Let's um, let's do that again. I usually, I usually say Earthlings, right? That's a little more all-encompassing and non-discriminatory. We don't want to exclude anyone, so let's try that again. Greetings, Earthlings, and Minecraftians, of course. Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. It is Monday, and I'm just brewing up a pot of coffee here. My speed potions, but that, ooh, that's not going to be enough. That's a mild coffee. Let's make this an espresso. Bam! Yeah. Okay, well, we're brewing up this pot of coffee. Um, let's figure out a plan for the day. So, we've got our five eyes of Ender. And I think in the last episode, well, I'm very sure about the last episode, we talked about going to find a stronghold, and that's what we're going to do today. And so far, I'm just, just getting geared up for this trip by making some potions. And making sure I have all the proper potions to keep my pets alive. So, yeah, in the last episode, we beat up a bunch of Endermen to get Ender Pearls. And I think I had ended the episode before. I ended up killing one more. See, the ironic thing is, every time I smacked one of the Endermen with my Fire Aspect Sword, they it would catch them on fire, and then they would run away and not come back. They're like, such spoil sports. You know, poor sports. It's like when you're playing football with a friend, and it's his football. And it's the only one you have. And he doesn't like the rules, or something happens, he gets angry, and then he runs home. And he takes his ball. I quit, I'm taking my ball with me. Yeah, it's like that. So, anyway, I had to kill the Enderman with an iron sword, and that seemed to work perfectly fine. And strength pot of three minutes. Let's boost that up, too. Um, we need some personality for strength potions. If this is going to be my espresso, let's give this some, some zing here. How about a better name? Let me think of a better name. And while I'm thinking of a better name, I'm going to go down here and just enchant. Oh, yeah, Cusco, good call. Cusco said, uh, call it uh, Muscle Milk. <laughs> that works. You guys, you guys can't speak cat, can you? Well, that's what Cusco said, Muscle Milk. I like that. you got to give Minecraft personality. You know, because everything tends to get sour after a while. You know, everything just gets old. Same old stuff. I like to give things names. Bring it to life, as it were. Alright, so we have our muscle milk. We have our espresso. And I think we're good to go, guys. Alright, let's go. Let's go find us this stronghold. Now, you know what happened in my mind crack episode last week? I killed another cat. Well, I didn't kill it. It died. It drowned. It fell in the water and drowned. Oh, shh, 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 don't tell Cusco. Um, so I've gone through several cats. I think we're good here. As you know, I have a difficult time keeping them alive, or they have a difficult time staying alive when they're with me adventuring, because they tend to fall in lava. They fall in water and drown. That's what happened in my mind crack. And um, pets fall, uh, dogs fall, and just get hurt. So I had suggested a water breathing potion in the Minecraft episode. I said, how about water breathing? So we have these... Oh, stray dog! You see that, guys? Over there. Talking to the chicken. Oh, he's doing the... He's doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk. You see that? Pretty slick. That's a talented mutt. Maybe I should trade one of you guys in. Hmm? Can you do that? Can you walk backwards like that? No, didn't think so. Am I missing... Oh, there you are. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had everybody up off their butts. Okay. So, um, anyway, yeah. So I thought a water-breathing potion with splash ability would be awesome because you have splash fire resistance. You have splash health for healing. And I think a, uh, a water-breathing and even a um, feather fall potion would be great for the dogs, too. So you can, you can hit them up with all this stuff, right? You juice them all up. And then you can go on an adventure and not have to worry about them dying on you. It's silly. You guys good with that? Raise a paw if you agree. All right. Mm, never mind. Let's um let's find the stronghold. So here's what we do. We toss I have ender up. You guys know how to do this, and it points toward the general direction. No, it went poof. Darn. Well, at least we have our bearing. So this is why you need more than one. So now we have a heading, and it's east. So we know that 
The nearest stronghold is that direction. Yeah, I was just hungry. So, <laughs> we're going to head off in that direction. I'm going to go for a little ways before I use up my next Ender Eye, my Eye of Ender, because as you saw there, the thing popped and now I don't get it back, and I only have five, so what I usually do is go off in one direction for... I can't believe I just swore. I just said one direction. Ah, I said it again! <laughs> it's a swear word around here. It's supposed to be a PG-rated series. Sorry about that. So we're going to go off in this direction for a little ways. And then when I feel like I've gone far enough, I'll throw up another... Well, I'll toss up another Eye of Ender. I'll try not to throw up. And, um... Woo! I'm dancing. Ow. Dance. I'm not a very good dancer. Hey! I'll, I'll toss up another Eye of Ender, and then that will tell us if we're still heading in the right direction, or if we have to stop and turn around and go back the other way. So that's the best way to do it. Now, I know it's not going to be this close, so I'm going to go for a little bit here. And uh, I suppose while we're traveling, we can chat. So I wanted to give someone a shout-out that I uh, met last week. And I told him I would, because he really he saved my life. Whoa! Hold on. Let's kill creepers first. Think about this. Oh, 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 oh he's on a ledge. He's on a ledge! Oh, darn you. No, guys, I got him. They shoot really hard now. They shoot really hard now! It's 1.5. So now they can draw their bows back really far. They do full damage with a fully drawn bow. The closer you get, they do rapid fire. It looks like you've been hit. Come here. You can you okay, buddy? Oh, good. There's the other clown. I think you're fine. You look... Alright, you're, you're 100 hundred percent. So yes, indeed. Uh, Dan. His name is Dan. Dan saved my life. Who's Dan? Dan works at Men's Warehouse. It's a clothing store for men. <laughs> he saved my life. I was there with Jumbo, my oldest son, Jumbo Muffin. Which is his alias, by the way. His Minecraft name. And, uh... We had to get hit. He had to get a tux for uh, Junior Prom's coming up in a couple of weeks. So, oh, carrot! Thanks, buddy. I was getting a little hungry. So we had to go to Men's Warehouse and rent a tux for his Junior Prom. And at the same time, I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to do some upgrading of my wardrobe, in particular my semi-casual. Or semi-formal, rather. Oh, da oh darn! I'm so sorry. Here. Okay, now you may kill. Oh, man, these guys stink. Oh, get out of here! Oh! Where's my dogs? Get over here! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Stop! Stop! Sit! Still! Ah! Whoo! Danger! 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 Wow, okay. I, I don't know if travel with you guys is such a great idea. There we go. I got this. Um, I will finish the story as soon as I have an opportunity to breathe. There we go. Cheapers, crow. Nobody wants me to find the stronghold. All right. Let's take stock. Cat never got hit. I never heard a screech. You're okay? Because the only way to heal you is to douse you with a healing potion. I would really rather not do that right now. All this junk. So anyway, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to upgrade my <laughs> my wardrobe, which is a little bit old. Well, it's very old, actually. And because um, I have a wedding coming up. I'm not getting married. It's my wife's friend. Come, please drop a ball. Drop your ball. Yes, it's good when the balls drop. Because then you get them back. Um, so I have a wedding to go to and... I haven't been to a wedding in a long time, so... All my suits are really old. Ow! Oh, that one! Ow! That's not a good spot for an arrow. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yep, I didn't wear my cup. I forgot my cup. <laughs> Never forget your cup at home. Because <laughs> that's why. My cod piece. Actually, in... Yeah, see, in technical terms... 
a piece of armor that covers your your family jewels is actually a cod piece. Wow, I just wailed that lily pad. I thought it was breaking when you hit these guys, but no, that's slick. That is cool. All right, I wonder how fast I can go. All right, guys, keep up. Uh, so anyway, lots of thoughts brewing around in my head. We're going this way, by the way, because this is where the Ender Pearl is still pointing, so we haven't passed the Stronghold. What stinks is that it's probably under this ridiculously large body of water. I bet I'm above it right now, which is going to stink getting down there if it's underwater. Let's, um... Oh, man. All right, let's hop out right here, guys, and... Let's throw this up again, and I'll finish up my story. Oh! Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Fall. Yes! Let me get that ball first. I have Ender. I know it's not really a ball, but... All right, well, let's go this way. Let's get to this land ho, and then uh, we'll toss it up again. I think we're getting close, so now it's over in this direction. Whoa. <laughs> that scared me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dudes! See, this is why you need a water-breathing potion. Get out of the water! Get up here! Whoa! Do you realize it's daytime? Where's my cat? Oh. Alright, guys, just stay. Stay. Ooh! There it is! Right here! Right here, guys! Yeah, baby! Alright, let's do it. That was nice. So we are at 742 20. And I'll just snapshot that there. Bang! Cool! That was easy. Alright, I want you guys to sit here because I do... Oh my... I have Ender. I do not trust you guys down here. This is going to lead us right to the Ender frame. Uh, the, the end frame, rather. Portal frame. And there's lava down there and silverfish. So I don't want you guys to come down right now. I'll come back for you. All right, as I was saying, um, so I had to, uh, so I needed to upgrade myself. I've got some really old suits. I mean, when I'm talking old, I'm talking like I bought these suits back when I was a sale. I was in sales. So, I mean, this is a long time ago. My suits are old. They're cheap. They're dirty. Some of them even have, like, moth holes in them. I mean, I, I've gone to functions, like, the last funeral I went to, like, a couple of years ago. I had to wear a, a, my, uh, an old suit that moths had gotten to. I mean, this, and it had a couple of holes in it. I mean, I, I literally had to put tape, like, black tape on the inside. <gasps> oh, I hear uh, silverfish. Black tape on the inside, so you couldn't see. So it kind of concealed the white shirt underneath. Because the white was poking through. <laughs> I mean, how embarrassing is that, right? So, I thought... Oh, brick, 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 brick. Awesome. Really? This stronghold is, like, really high to the... Close to the surface. I've never seen one so close to the surface. I hear... I hear lava. Ah, there it is! All right. Oh, my gosh. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't want to get shot and land down there. Um, let's find a safer path. That's a buggy block. You see that? Nice. Oh, darn it. All right, we need to find... Let's go to the edge on this side. Let's get to one of the edges. Like over here. Oh, they're burning right up in that stuff, too. That's awesome. In the lava. That stuff. So, it was about time for me to get an upgraded wardrobe, right? Just a... I, I need a semi-formal... This, this wedding is kind of semi-formal, but I just need, like, a nice sport coat. I've never actually gone out and bought, like, a really... Just a nice sport coat that's versatile, and I can use it, you know, for multiple things. Like, just a blue blazer kind of thing. So, that was what I was after. So, anyway, so we get there, and I set Jumbo up with uh, a nice young lady there who... Um, worked in the uh, the rental departments for the... Well, she worked pretty much everywhere, but she was in the rental department when we got there. And she's like, all right, tell me what he needs, and and then you can head upstairs and go, um, go shopping. I'm like, okay. 
Um, I really wanted her help because I have no idea what I'm doing, but we figured while we're here, let's let's split up, let's divide and conquer rather than waste too much time. Oh, I see you down there. Oh, I do. Yeah, go for a swim, pal. Alright, we gotta kill this spawner here. So, let me just do this. So, anyway, um... Yeah. Hold on, concentrate, concentrate. I want to cover these up so I don't fall in. That's good. So, uh, so I went downstairs and I'm looking at the blaze, the the blaze. I'm saying blazes, and I really want to say blazer. Blazer is actually the um, the article of clothing. That's what I'm interested in here. <laughs> so the blazers, because I don't want a suit. I actually um, have a, a fairly nice suit that I bought kind of recently, but it's more, it's just black. It's more for funeral. Um, actually, is that the one that I wore to the last funeral? Maybe I did. I forget where I wore my suit. Oh, I did go to a wedding. It was a, a cousin's wedding last year, and that's where I wore my old suit with the holes in it. But anyway, so the point is, I really have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm down there staring at this stuff. And I'm sure my eyes were glazed over. I'm like a deer in headlights. So fortunately, um, Dan, this gentleman that works there, saw this look of of utter befuddlement and confusion and fright, and noticed it for what it was, and came over and said, "Hey, do you need help?" <laughs> I was like, "I never thought you would ask, because I don't ask for help usually." Uh, and I thought that the girl that was doing the rental was going to come back down and help me out anyway. So I was like, well, the girl upstairs said she was going to come down here and give me a hand. But it, but here's what, I, here's what I'm looking for. So I gave him an idea of what I, what I needed. And he was like, no problem. Follow me. And he just took over. And uh, man, Dan the man, let me tell you, set me up right. Because I was a little lost puppy when it comes to fashion, but this guy knew what he was doing. So, he's a young guy. We ended up chatting about... Um, oh, not much. Crap, that stinks. Um, about gaming, because he... Uh, turns out he's a gamer. He asked me what I do for a living, and I and, and I said, well, um, you know, I own the computer store, I do computer services, but I also have a YouTube channel. Whoa! Library! Nice. And uh, so I told him about that, that I make video game videos. And he was like, what? <laughs> so we got to talking about that. And uh, then he sold me a bunch of other stuff, too, that I really didn't need. But while I'm there, what the heck? So I got a nice, real nice pair of jeans you know, uh, that I can wear with this blazer. So when I was trying everything on, oh, paper. What good is paper? Seriously. He's like, well, why do you have that blazer on? try out these jeans. So he went and got me these really nice jeans. And then uh, he got a, pulled a shirt off the shelf, too. All right, let's go to the second floor. And he's like, try this shirt with these jeans and this coat. <laughs> and, uh, and I tried it all on, and, it's, and it looked great. So I'm like, oh, this would be perfect for, like, you know, a night out with the wife, maybe a dinner or something. You could even wear it to a super casual wedding. I don't think the one I'm going to is that casual for jeans, but... Um, but I bought some nice slacks. They still call them slacks? Nice brown uh, um, pants for the actual wedding. Um, but anyway, so the point is he really set me up nicely. And I got some ties, some shirts. I had to get new shoes. Because everything that I have matches, like the suit I have is black. The one decent suit that I have is A, too big. It's mostly for funerals. And it's... And everything is black. So the, my belt, my pants, I mean my belt and my shoes are all for black. So I had to get new shoes, new belt, um, new ties. I'm just going to go wandering. I guess I'll leave my pets upstairs. And uh, this is weird. It's a dead end. Hmm. Let's bust through. 
Oh, right. This is cool. I've never seen that before. Hello. So, anyway, in the long run, it was pretty expensive. But, here's the cool thing. It was a 50% off day as well, so I don't know how we got so lucky there, but... I had 50% off the entire bill. I mean, score! So, I got uh, everything I need for the wedding and anything that's coming up in the future where I need to look halfway decent, then uh, I'm, I'm pretty good to go. You're gonna like the way I look. Isn't that what that guy, the owner, says? George Zimmerman? Is that Zim Zimmer? George Zimmer? I forget his name, the owner of Men's Warehouse. So anyway, big shout out. I told Dan I'd give him a shout out, so shout out to Dan. There you go, boss. Thank you for helping me out. I could not have done it without you. And you know what? That's what that's what professionals are for. This is why I seek out the professionals. Seek out professional help. <laughs> when there's something that I'm facing that I cannot do alone, or I don't want to attempt it, like plumbing kind of thing, you know? Hire a professional. You'll definitely be better off for it. In most cases. All right, I don't know where I'm going. This is weird. This is the weirdest stronghold ever. It goes up instead of down. All right, well, there's clearly a door. Ouch. Somewhere. Um, at the top, maybe? All right, I'm going to have to do some investigation around here because I don't know. Where to go? Oh, here we go. Okay, here's a Here's a underneath a stair, which means there must be a stairway up here. Okay. Aha. Got a lot of torches. Now I'm hoping that this I was hoping the stronghold would be lower. It's at 43, level 43, which means I'm not going to get any really good um, resources here. I have to get down a little lower than this. You hit me through the door and set me on fire. That wasn't kind. Take that. Hmm. This is one strange place. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That stinks. You know what's going to happen? I bet this is... Um, oh, man. This is old code. I bet this was created out of an older generator. I'm not going to have enchanted books. I don't know why. Wait, have I been here? Is this a different one? Because I think if I had gone to that swamp that one time before, which I have been to the swamp one time before, right? This is a different library. <gasps> oh, never mind. Okay, take it all back. Sharp. <laughs> oh, man. Just my luck. I get three books of sharpness. Which I... The one thing I don't need. Three books of sharpness. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I know that the good news is I will get enchanted books here. I thought maybe if I had gotten close to this place one time before, it wouldn't have the new, uh, the new enchanted books. But all right, I'm going to have to think about that. I can sell them, I guess, right? Sell them somewhere for a few bucks. Yeah. Um, darn. That's kind of a waste. I guess I can put them on... Uh, I can put it on my bow, so if I smack something, I think that'll still work. All right, I'm going to cut out right now, and I'll be back shortly. I'm going to get a little more organized here. We'll set up a little base, and then we'll do some exploring. Hopefully, we'll be able to go down lower and find some more minerals. I really want to get some, like, diamonds and stuff. But, um, but we'll clear the whole stronghold out eventually. So stay tuned for more. I'll be back. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, once again, thanks, Dan, for helping out. A lost little boy. Oh, speaking of lost little boys, I'll tell you another story about a lost boy at uh, PAX East on Friday. 
in the next episode. Just remind me. Put that in the comments. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. He's Don't like a, pop a, a hole in the floor of the Potion like Palace. We just hog. built the place. Is there a basement? Dad, here. Oh, boy. I think you have a groundhog.